explain to you, and I don't have a full explanation as to why he's kept this cub's body with him. The only thing that I can suggest is that because they are young males, this is probably the first time they've ever killed a cub before. And he's not quite sure exactly what it is and how to handle it. So he's brought it with him more out of curiosity than anything else. And it is just a part of their natural learning experience. However, it's worth remembering that this is a natural process of life and it allows them to keep lions to naturally both keep their numbers down and their genetics fresh which as a species is going to give them a whole lot of resilience if there are any climate changes, any kind of outbreaks of disease, any kind of selective pressure. They need, they really, really need to keep that constant flow of genetics, otherwise it does them serious damage as a species. So they are acting purely on instinct, and at this point they are still learning and getting some experience. Over the next few years, as the Birmingham Bo Birmingham boys become quite a serious coalition. They are going to continue to do things like this, but they are also going to sire a whole new genetic line that they will fight for and die to protect in terms of a whole load of new cubs and new genetic material coming into the system. So we must remember that although this has happened now, in the future there will be fresh Birmingham stock and they are beautiful, beautiful, very strong, very physically um, healthy looking lions and they will be passing those genetics into the into the the lion species as a whole so a very difficult situation to witness but one that we must remember is natural and it's not kind of any any kind of innate evil within the lion it is just part of nature and part of the way that they are going to continue in the future and he definitely has the very pink nose and very intact canines of a young lion and these five boys if all of them do survive are going to be a serious force to be reckoned with oh so guys I think it's time for us to link back across to Steph. Unfortunately he has got the corpse of one of the cubs. I'm going to send you back across to Steph. We'll be back with you later. So guys, a very difficult and sad day for all of us here at Wild Earth as well as all of the viewers. And I know that this is a very difficult thing for many of you to watch and it is very sad for myself and Andrew to sit here. However, we, do, we must remember that this is nature and it is just one of those inevitable things that as we get to follow these animals throughout the days and months, we do get attached to them and get to know them on a, or feel like we know them on a personal level. But the thing about this kind of situation is that you cannot just have the good and the best parts of nature. You have to take it as, as it comes, all of it. And unfortunately,